Welcome to part two, painting trees with watercolor and painting trees into your mountain landscape. Do you have your paper all set up? Great, then let's get started. So the first thing I want you to notice is that I'm using a fine tip brush. When I'm showing you this, I'm gonna use black paint so you can see what I'm doing better. Now, I'm going to start with line first and I'm gonna show you how to paint pine trees. So I don't start at the top, short brush strokes, and then they're gonna get wider. Now notice it's getting lighter. So if you want it a little darker, you just go back into the paint. The more water you use, the lighter. The less paint, it's also going to be lighter. And if you want it darker, you still need to use wa water, but you would use a little bit more paint. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to paint a different type. So this is what I would do for the smaller trees. Now, if you wanna do a long tree, you wanna make a nice long line and now this tree is more of a brush stroke tree. So I'm gonna start at the top, still leaving a little bit of the top of that line, and then And that's more of a dry brush stroke, which means you need more water. But if you like that look, um, I would use a variety of maybe a dry brush stroke, darker, lighter. Yeah. <clears throat> Still thinking about that idea value. So we would stop there. a lighter color. You could go back in and get that a little darker. Okay, so I would keep practicing until you feel comfortable painting the trees. And then the next step is to add the trees to your landscape. Now that you've finished practicing painting, trees with watercolor, now it's time to add them to your mountain landscape. Make sure your mountain landscape is dry first. Okay, so I'm going to wet my brush. And I, again, I'm going to use black because I think you can see it better, but you could use whatever color you would like. So your first step, I'm going to put the small trees in first. Test with your paper towel first. That's a little too much. So see, that's a little too much paint there. Okay, now I'm ready. First step is just to draw little lines. Test on your paper towel first, especially for these smaller trees. That looks good. And I'm gonna start over here. Leave the top and then start, you wanna start a little low. So see, you wanna leave part of that line at the top and then short line. It's too much pain, I can tell. So I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna use some of that. So you're gonna leave some space at the top draw a shorter line, and then you're going to make each line a little wider. And then maybe I'm gonna put some over here. So put the lines in first. 
the further away the trees are, um, the shorter they're going to be. Now I'm done with the smaller trees, and you might just like your mountain landscape like that. But if you want to add those big, tall trees, I'm going to have them going off the page, and they're going to be closer to me. So that means they're going to be bigger. So now I'm going to use a different style for those trees. So for those, I'm going to do those tall brush stroke pine trees. So you follow the same steps. You can either start at the top or bottom, whichever works for you. And I'm just going to start with a long line. You can always experiment using a Q-tip if you need to. You know, le less is more. So I'm going to stop there. So when I say less is more, once you get the tree down, maybe don't keep working on it. Stop and go to the next one. Whoops. <laughs> So now, after I finish that tree, I'm going to stop. And I look at the hole and see if I feel I need to add anything. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And this is one reason I think it's so important if you could make um, a group of mini landscapes. Because if you've done your practice with making a whole bunch of trees, even more than these, and then you go to your landscape and you paint them in. Um, and if it doesn't quite work out on your first one, you have others to, to work on. And so the more you do, the better you get. Well, that's our video series on creating a mountain landscape and painting trees into your mountain landscape. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope you had a lot of fun painting. Now, always remember, when you are creating art to relax and have lots of fun and keep creating.